Hello, my wonderful people. Here is another beautiful day to exploit the world of mathematics. We have a question before us here. It says, if one of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial, bracket open k minus 1 close bracket, times x squared minus kx plus 1 is minus 3. One of the solutions to this quadratic equation is minus 3. Then we are asked to find the value of k. It's a very easy one. Now let's go into today's challenge. But if you knew yet, this is all I must TV. Do not forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That is where the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, will notify you whenever we drop an amazing video. Because here we are on a marathon read to be releasing at least three videos every day for your learning, for your fun. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So the first thing we're going to do here is to take our solution. So here we take our solution. First thing first, according to Steve Arcavel. Now, we were told something called the sum of roots and product of roots. Given a quadratic equation, we have a quadratic equation of a times x to the power of 2, then plus our b, then x plus our c equal to 0. We said, yeah, the sum of root will now give us, or let's say, if we now assume that um, let, let's say, let your alpha and beta are the two roots to this quadratic equation. So we've established mathematically that the sum of root here, which is alpha plus our beta, will now be equal to what? Minus b all over a. Remember this? And our product of these two roots will give us our C all over A. Remember this, Steve? Good. So if you remember this, now we're going to look at this expression we have here now. This expression is synonymous to this. So if it is synonymous to this, our K minus 1 is our A. And our K is our B. Then our 1 is our C, which is the constant term. So if we have this in place, what we do, or how do we now solve for this? Again, we're giving the one of the root. So how do we now get the second root? Because from here, it shows that we have two roots. So we cannot see here from our original equation here. So we cannot see, let, let the second root, let the second, second root, let's take it to be alpha, okay? All right, so let's take it to be alpha. So if we take it to, the, to be alpha, so from you're going to have sum of roots, sum of roots, you now give us our alpha, mind you, the first one it said here is what, minus 3. And here we have what? Alpha. So let's take our minus 3 as the first one, then plus our alpha, this is equal to, remember the relationship. So we're going to have here minus, what is our B? Look at our B here. Our b is minus k. So we have here minus k bracket minus here. Then all over. Then a. What is our a? Our a is k minus 1. Right? So, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. Now, we can move this to this side of the equation and use this minus to times this. And so we're going to have our alpha will now be equal to, yes, going to give us k positive k all over k minus 1, then plus r3. Because when this minus crosses to this side of the equation, that will give us plus. Right? Good. Now, we can find the LCM of this because this is all over this table 1. So, if we find the LCM of this, so this is going to give us here this, like, let's draw this LCM first. So, this divided by this, that will give us 1. Then 1 times k we are left here with k the plus 1 dividing this will give us k minus 1 times 3. So we're going to have here 3 bracket our k minus 1 close bracket, which is automatically k plus 3k the minus r3 all over k minus 1. So we can have here, therefore, our alpha is equals to 4k minus 3 all over k minus 1. So let's give this equation 1. So 
if we give this equation one, all right. Now, what we do next now, we come to what we have here as our product of roots. So from here, let's take second step, which is product, product of roots. Look at it here. We have C all over A, right? Good. So what is the first product? Sorry, the first root is minus 3. So we're going to have here minus 3 times the second one we said, let it be what? Alpha. So times alpha is going to give us our C. What is our C? Our C is the constant term here. So we have your 1 all over the A. What is our A? Our A is K minus 1. Easy. So from here, we divide by minus 3. Then we divide the whole of this term by minus 3. So this, this leaves. So we have our alpha is equal to if we use this to divide this, this automatically is going to give us our 1, uh, put our minus here, all over our 3 into our k minus 1, which is 3k minus 3. Any confusion here? No. So if we have this, we can turn this as our equation 2. So we now have equation 1 as alpha on the left hand side, and we have alpha on the left hand side for our equation 2. So we can equate equation 1 and equation 2. So we can say here, equating or equate equation 1, 1, and 2. So let's continue on this side. Let's see what this gives us in 10. So this is going to give us our 4k minus our 3 all over our k minus 1 equal to, here we have minus 1 all over 3k, 3k minus 3. Right? Good. So from here, we can cross multiply. And if we cross multiply, this is going to give us 4k minus 3 then times our 3k minus 3 plus bracket. We use this to find this. So this equals to minus 1 into k minus 1. So if we open up this, what will this give us? 4k times 3k will give us 12k squared. Then 4k times minus 3 will give us minus our 12k. Then minus 3 times 3k will give us minus 9k. Minus 3 times minus 9, I'm sorry, minus 3 will give us minus 9. Plus 9, rather. Sorry, pardon. Okay, so we use this to open this. This will give us minus k uh, plus 1. Okay, so let's move all these terms to this side of the equation. So this is going to give us 12k squared, right? So minus 12k minus 9k, that will give us minus 21k. And if you move this to this side, it will give us plus 1. So minus 21k plus 1k, that will give us 20k. So we have here, minus 20k, then plus 9, minus 1, will give us plus 8. This is equal to 0. Okay, we discovered that we can use 4 to divide through here. So let's divide through by 4, divide through by 4, divide this by 4. Equally divide this by 4. Because whatever you do to the left hand side of your equation, you do to the right hand side also. So, yeah, 4 here will give us 1, 4 here will give us 3, 4 here will give us 1, 4 here will give us 5, 4 here will give us 1, 4 here will give us uh, 2, and 4 here will give us what? 0. So, we are now left with 3k to the power of 2 minus 5k there plus uh, 2 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So how do we solve this quadratic equation for two roots? Yeah, it is easy. All we just need to do is to use this to multiply two. So three times two will give us six. So we think of two numbers from the factors of six that we will multiply together, we give us plus six, then we sum them together, we give us minus five. 
and that is minus 2 minus 3, right? So we can rewrite this middle term as our 3k to the power of 2 minus 2k, then minus 3k, then plus r2 equal to 0. So we can put this in bracket and also put this in bracket. What is common to here and here? It's just k. So we use k out. If we bring k out here, we use this k here to divide this 3k. We are left with 3k, then minus your k into 2k. We are left with just 2, then minus. What is common to here and here is just 1. So bracket 1 into 3k will still give us here our 3k. Then we use minus to times plus will give us minus here. Yeah. Then one equal two will give us two. Close bracket equal to zero. Let's just manage this space. Okay. So you discover that what you have in this first bracket is the same thing you have in the second bracket here. So we can take all of them and take these, these that are outside. So therefore we cannot have here k minus one close bracket. The bracket two k sorry three k here. Yeah. All right. So three k. Then minus 2 plus bracket equal to 0 here. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at what we have here now. We can send this to 0 and equate this to 0. So if we do that, we're going to have our k here yeah, minus 1 equal to 0. Or k, um, 3k rather, not just k here. Yeah. So here yeah, we have yeah, 3k minus 2 equal to 0. So if we make k the subject of the formula, we're going to have our k1 now be equal to positive 1, then and our k2, k2 now be 2, positive 2, all over 3. So these are the two values of k that will actually satisfy this equation or that will make uh, this equation a quadratic function. So this brings us to the end of today's math class. However simple thing you must have learned from this challenge give it a thumbs up don't forget to drop comments in the comment section we we'll reply to your comments keep winning bye for now